Welcome to this Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment video. If you're doing your GCSE chemistry exams, there is a good chance that this practical is going to come up, making a pure, dry sample of a soluble salt. We're going to go through the experiment, scientific understanding, and exam style questions. Feel free to jump to the bit that you need or watch it through. The name of this practical lets us know that we have to cover three skills. One, we have to prepare a soluble salt. Two, we need to purify it. Three, we need it dry. If we keep this in mind, we're going to be okay. The usual experiment is to make hydrated copper sulfate crystals. For this, we'll need a source of the metal, copper in this case, and a source for the salt, sulfate, for this experiment. We need to use a copper compound for the copper, either copper oxide or copper carbonate. Salts are a product of neutralization. Chlorides from neutralizing hydrochloric acid, sulfates from neutralizing sulfuric acid, and nitrates from neutralizing nitric acid. Stage one, preparation of a soluble salt, copper sulfate. I will use black copper oxide powder and sulfuric acid. We need to be confident with the names of the equipment and the procedure. The equipment here, heat proof mat, tripod, gauze, Bunsen burner, a 100ml beaker, glass rod, spatula, safety glasses, 250ml measuring cylinder and tongs. Set up the equipment like I've done here. Using a measuring cylinder, measure 20 centimetre cubed of 1.0 moles per decimetre cubed dilute sulfuric acid. Pour the acid into the beaker and heat it strongly. Ensure you turn the Bunsen off when the acid simmers. Do not let it boil. Lift the beaker off the tripod using the tongs and stand it on the heat proof mat. Add a small sample of copper oxide to the acid. I suggest a rice grain size and stir it with the glass rod. You will observe that the copper oxide reacts completely with the acid. We should be left with a clear, pale blue solution of our soluble salt. We might still have unreacted acid, so we need to repeat. We repeat until no more copper oxide can react as all the sulfuric acid has been neutralised. The copper oxide will now be in excess. If you were using copper carbonate, we would also see bubbles of carbon dioxide form. Keep adding the copper carbonate until there are no more bubbles. Stage 2. Purifying the sample. Once more, you need to be confident with the equipment and procedure. We're going to need a filter funnel, filter paper, evaporating basin, petri dish and our safety glasses. Fold the filter paper into the filter funnel. Stand the funnel over the evaporating basin. Pour the mixture of copper sulphate solution and unreacted copper oxide through the filter. As you can observe, we have separated the solid copper oxide and are left with the copper sulphate solution. A solution can never be pure. Solutions contain particles of a substance and water molecules. We need to get rid of the water. Stage 3. 
purifying part two, and crystallization. Place the evaporating basin on the tripod. Heat the solution. We're trying to evaporate most of the water. Continue until you have evaporated between half and two thirds of the volume. Turn off the heat. You could use a water bath at this point. It takes longer, but it is safer as the temperatures used will be lower. As the water evaporates, the concentration of the solution increases. The number of particles of copper sulfate to water molecules increases. We are looking for the saturation point or crystallization point, the point when the water can no longer dissolve any more substance. Carefully pour the solution into a petri dish and leave in a warm place, maybe a windowsill. As the solution cools and more water evaporates, you will start to see crystals form. You've got two choices. You can leave the petri dish until all the water has evaporated, or once the crystals have grown, you can remove them and dry them on filter paper. That's it, our pure, dry sample of our soluble salt. Now let's have a look at the reaction in a little bit more detail. In the neutralization reaction, we had copper oxide plus sulfuric acid going to copper sulfate and water. Remember from your uh, neutralization topics, a metal oxide plus an acid gave us a salt and water. The balanced symbol equation for this will let us see it in more detail. The CuO in solid form plus H2SO4 in aqueous form goes to CuSO4, aqueous solution, plus H2O, liquid. Alternatively, copper carbonate and sulfuric acid goes to copper sulfate, plus water, plus carbon dioxide. The balanced symbol equation for that will let us see that one in more detail. The CuCO3 solid plus H2SO4, aqueous solution, goes to CuSO4, aqueous solution, H2O in our liquid form and carbon dioxide, CO2 in our gaseous form. Let's have a look at those exam style questions and some tips. I've seen three types of questions around this experiment. The first one, straightforward question. Make a pure dry sample of copper sulfate crystals from a metal oxide and a dilute acid. Question number two might come across as the what would you make and how would you make it question. Something like, Samara has been asked to make a pure dry crystals from copper carbonate and dilute sulfuric acid. Suggest how she would achieve this and what would be the soluble salt. Or number three, the spot the mistakes question. Charlie wants to make copper sulfate crystals. He reacts solid calcium carbonate with 20 centimeters cubed of dilute nitric acid. After he adds excess solid, he then boils off the water. There are some errors in Charlie's plan suggest some corrections. In each case, we need to return to the three skills needed for this required practical. Make a soluble salt, purify it, dry it. To answer each question, we follow the same simple steps. You need to write logically, just like you've seen. Use correct names for equipment and scientific terminology where appropriate. Bullet points are okay to use. They save you time on writing and it encourages you to think step by step. Let's go through the answer. Name your reactants. What was the source of your metal? What was the source of the salt? I will react copper oxide and sulfuric acid together. The plan or the procedure for the method. Lots of marks available here. Remember, the order that you mention this is important. Start with making the soluble salt. Measure sulfuric acid in a measuring cylinder, pour it into a beaker. Heat the sulfuric acid to simmering, add some copper oxide and stir with a glass rod. Continue to add the copper oxide until no more reacts. It is now in excess. Now you can describe purification. Filter the mixture into the evaporating basin. Use a filter funnel and filter paper. This will remove the excess copper oxide. Heat the solution to remove some of the water and reach the crystallization or saturation point. 
Lastly, describe drying the crystals. Pour into a petri dish and leave in a warm place to crystallize and dry. Or you could say, remove the crystals and dry them. Required practicals are classic six mark questions. You're going to get six minutes to read the question, understand what's being asked of you and write your answer. Write your procedure out and time yourself. That'll be time well invested. Thank you for viewing this video. I'll post all the required practical videos in this playlist. If you found it useful, please subscribe. Click the thumbs up button. Look out for more videos to help you with your GCSE chemistry in the future. Thank you and goodbye.